Now we'll try to draw the shear and bending moment diagrams plus the normal force diagram for the whole frame, but we're going to take them member by member. This is what we have for member EF. EX equals 0 kN, EY negative, kilo, uh, negative 3 kN, and ME equals 4. This is the member with the values. What we see right here is the normal force diagram. And remember, we said it's in compression, and the value is 3 kN. Okay, for this one, it's a shear diagram. So it starts at point F with 2 kN, pushing this way. Then it will decrease gradually, going up, until it reaches a 0. Why a 0? because that's what we got. It's EX right here. And because we have a distributed load that will act to push us to the left, 0.5 kN every meter we go up. So we'll end up having this shape. And for the moment, we start with a 0, and we end up by a 4 kN per uh, kN meters. Why 4? Because that's what we got. But what about the shape here? Why is it shaped this way? Since we have a distributed load, the moment diagram will be curved. And since we have a gradually increasing or decreasing shear force diagram, we will have a curved bending moment diagram. OK, let's take a look at member ED. So these are the values we got for ED. At E, we have a shear of minus 3, a moment of 4. At D, we have a shear of 5, and a moment of minus 4. And we have no normal forces. So the normal force diagram will be just blank. This is the line for the shear force diagram. So we start with the left. We have 5 cooling newtons coming up. Why the 5? This is the value we got right here, VD. Then, we're going to go straight down until we reach a point. And why straight? Because we have a distributed load that pushes, pushes us downwards. One kN for each meter we move to the right. So what is the value at the end right here? It's 3, negative 3. That's the value of the shear at point E. And that's what we got. For the moment, we'll start by negative 4, because that's what we got from our analysis. And we'll end up with a 4 to the other end. But before I continue doing this, take a look at the shear diagram. It crosses the horizontal axis at a point. And whenever the shear diagram crosses the horizontal axis at a point, that means there is a maximum moment at this point. So, and the other point is, remember, is it going to be a straight line for the moment diagram? Is it going to be a straight line or a curved line? It's going to be curved because the shear diagram is gradually decreasing. So it will look something like this, and it will end up, again, we have a maximum point right here, below the zero, zero shear, and it will end up at a distance here which is 4 and that's what we got from ME. The question is what is the value of the maximum moment? Because remember at the end of the day you are asked to find the maximum moment and maximum shear because that's the uh, design criteria you're gonna be thinking about when you are doing the design. Okay the oldest trick in the book how do we do this? If we know the distance x we can calculate the area under the curve of uh, under the shear curve and if we do this we can find the value for the maximum moment how to find it this is what we have now our task is to find the distance x i'm going to change this to this i didn't do anything i just moved this line to the left 
to create two similar triangles now I just said two similar triangles I will use this trick so 8 over X is 8 which is the summation of these values but without the negative sign over 5 these are the similar triangles again it's 8 over X equals 8 over 5 if I solve for this basically it's X equals 5 meters now I can calculate the area under the shear diagram this area the area is 12.5 kilonewtons meter is that the maximum moment no it's not the maximum moment that happens to be right here it will equal 12.5 if you start your diagram from the zero right here but you started from the negative 4 so what you need to do is add this negative 4 to this number to get the maximum moment which, which turns out to be 8.5 kilonewtons meters now remember ED remember ED we have it's the small this uh, uh, overhanging segment of the frame we have a VD that's negative 4 and MD that is negative 6 so the shear and moment up next to point D we already solved for that okay what about the one at the cantilever tip the shear is not 0 but the moment is 0 okay no normal force again for the shear diagram I'm going to go down negative 2 because I have a concentrated load of negative of 2 kilonewtons. Then since I have a distributed load that's trying to push me down one unit for each meter, so I'm going to move like this. So I start with the 2, I'm pushed down 1 for each meter, so I'm going to be pushed 2 units, right? for the first two it's total of two meters so the first meter I'm gonna be pushed one so I'm gonna be at three then for the second meter I'm gonna be pushed another one so I'm gonna be at four so it's a negative four and without even doing this if you go ahead and do the negative two and the negative four because you already know the negative four from the VD and you just connect them through a line for the moment at the tip it's gonna be zero what about at ND you know that it's negative six kilonewtons meters so it's zero here and it's curved like that and it's negative six now let's check the value of MD let's try to calculate the area if we calculated the area of the shape and if we get the six that means our procedure is correct so we have this area what is the area of this it's 2 plus 4 over 2 it's taking the average then multiplying by this distance which is 2 so 2 plus 4 taking the average multiplied by 2 is 6 so we are right now remember AD looking at joint D this is what we have this is number I'm sorry, it should be, uh, that's a typo, it should be member DB, okay? So, what do we have? We have ND, which is 9, and we said before that BD is in compression. So, this is the member, and it's in compression. It doesn't have any shear forces, but it has a moment, which equals to 2, and that's how we draw it it's two here all the way up okay let's move on member B B prime that's the member okay you remember that at B we have a shear force of two and we have a moment of negative two and it's a, a cantilever segment so no normal force for the shear will go up to 
move to the right because we have no forces between B and B prime then the two cool Newtons is gonna close our diagram okay for the moment we start with a zero the tip it's a straight line it's not curved anymore why because the shear diagram is a straight line that's not changing in value it starts with a two and ends with a two so if for any reason this uh, shear force was dropping down like this or going up like, like that we will have a curved line but since it's not changing any values now we have two kilonewtons meter and again this value should be negative okay member AB which is the I believe uh, should be the last member we're gonna analyze we have a normal force NB which was negative 11 but we said it should be in the other direction so AB is gonna be in compression and we have a moment which is equal to zero so in compression and note there is no shear and no moment because moment is zero and we said no shear force in member I believe now we are ready to draw the whole thing or put all the pieces together for the normal force diagram what you do you take the uh, diagrams you drew for each member and just assemble them into the general frame so this one is the 11 kilonewton compression and try to keep the whatever value that is negative keep it inside the frame like in the inner part of the frame and whatever is positive keep it outside so you have like a sign convention of yourself so no forces a member B B prime and for B D we have a 9 kilonewtons compression no forces in C D no forces in D E no normal forces in D E and we have a compression force of 3 in member F E or E F for the shear force diagram that's the frame no shear in this one in AB we have a shear of plus 2 kilonewtons in BB prime no shear in this one and for this one it's negative 2 kilonewtons and negative 6 kilonewtons for DE we're just assembling whatever we had before we had 5 going up and going decreasing like this linearly and going up here at negative 3 and for the last part which is EF it's gonna be 2 positive in the bottom and negative or I'm sorry it's 0 at point E for the bending moment diagram 0 moment A B and member AB we have a moment in member B B prime like that we have a moment of 2 and member B D we have a moment of negative 6 right here and we have a moment in D E we start with a negative 4 and look at this the negative 4 in D or and remember DE starting from point D if you sum these two numbers you'll get the negative force so, okay so and we have this 8.5 and we knew how to do this one and the 4 right here and last we have this one the EF right here it starts with a 4 on top and curves down to 0 